The Finding City of Darwin tonight comes alive with Muay Thai and mixed martial arts actions in the form of Mick Siebert's It's War Show. Hello everybody, I'm Michael Chabello along with my verbal sparring partner, former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion, The Hammer, Mark Castanini, a huge fight card from Darwin Town. It's all happening. Andy Valenzuela, Travis Hutchinson, Scott Rintine and Mick Thomas get us underway under mixed martial arts rules. Frederick Peter, Mark Craig in the super heavyweights under modified tie. We've also got Peter Brown and James Thompson under modified tie. And a kickboxing fight, Daniel Borsch taking on Jimmy O'Grady in the super middleweight. Moving on to the business end of the card, Jeff Meredith takes on Trent Hansen. And then modified tie main event, Mohamed Ashner and Greg Penelos. Siebert's It's War promotion. So I'm proud as Jeff Meredith from Kennington Kickboxing in Perth. This is one of the ring for this super middleweight contest. 74 kilos under modified tie rules. His opponent. Hansen. Where's he from? What gym? Performance gym. Performance, gym. performance versus the universe here tonight. Performance gym. It's got to be the biggest gym in Darwin. This will be the first time in history of their illustrious commentating careers, Hammer, that we've had all one gym in one corner throughout the whole night. It would have to be. I don't know if it was at the, uh, the MMA think... bouts earlier, they not performance, however. Weren't they performance? I don't think they were. Yeah. Yeah. MMA gym. I was NT on the That's right. That's right. Jeff Meredith, Trent Hansen, and modified tie rules. You take it to the bugle. Perry Kale. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'd make the name proud. You were the original Hammer. Before you, there was only Greg the Hammer Valentine <laughs> in the true. old wrestling. That's true. You were the original when it came to Muay Thai kickboxing. Seconds out, round one. First round of action, Michael Chavello and Mark the original Hammer. Castanini. Oh. Ooh, comes out with the big bombing hands there. There's Trent Hansen in the blue. And there's Jeff Meredith in the black, red, and Ooh. white. He's so cool the colours. How do I know that? Seeing I don't follow AFL. High right round kick. From Hanson. That's the big jab from Hanson. Much better technique being exhibited so far from these two men. That's the business end of the card. Jab two from Hanson. Nicely done. Just on a wade through the guard of Meredith who ties him up. They tango. And Rob Murdoch separates both men. A right round kick from Meredith. Checks a low kick does Meredith. Very leggy fighter is Meredith Hammer. He certainly is. His legs are three quarters reach. of the way of his body. Long reach. Ooh, wild right hand. 
Benton, I think, has the uh, has the better guard. He's, he's a lot tighter in his guard and a little bit more balanced. But uh, it's the arms and leg style of Meredith at this point that uh, long his arms are. He's hitting, some, he's hitting him from the other side of the ring. His knuckles almost drag on the ground. High left round kick. And really, with a weapon like that, you want to be able to use that reach advantage, Hammer. How does he use it to his advantage? He's got to pop off the jab a bit more and uh, sit, sit behind his jab. Use his uh, long push kick and the uh, double double up the jab, chop low. Circle out and uh, use range. Oh, nice high knee. This one modified tie, so knees are allowed. And if he's strong in a clinch, of course, leave it down on the head and bring the knees up to the face. Oh, nicely done. Shin across face. Well, the man from Cannington certainly uh, throwing down in the first round, and you've got to give it the yeah. way of the blue corner that yeah. first round. The, the slow uh, starting style of Trent Han Hammer Hansen he needs to uh, up the ante a little because uh, it is a very busy fighter in uh, Jeff Meredith. He's keeping the pressure on the whole way. And, uh, you're right, Michael. He's got some reach on him for sure, this man. I mean, if, I was, if I was going to choose a tool for my own nickname, it might be the plum. Well, it might be the plum, the plum line. You measure the perpendiculars with the plum. Well, that's just because it's like food. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's a nice fruit. Michael, the plum line Chevello. Plum line. It might be the trout. Because you go straight down after you get hit. <laughs> Second round of action, first round, we get into the long, leggy one. The beautiful bald cranium of Jeff Meredith. Performance gym corner, getting a little bit slower as the night progresses after the uh, cornered 50 fights. He's doing a little bit of the uh, sugar rush shuffle. Meredith now changing stance. Spider. It's a very awkward uh, customer to fight. Bob's down, Bob's up. Switch your stance. Arms and legs from all angles. And the man from Perth. Looking for the body shot there, Meredith. Hanson. He loops his arms around, and uh, if Hanson uh, counterfights, I think he might have a little luck. So uh, draw the uh, draw the hand strikes of Meredith, and then counterfight with with uh, perhaps a straight right after. He may uh, pay some dividends. Inside thigh kick from Meredith. Ooh, Hanson tries to counter with the right hand, almost tags him. Some body shots there. Mm, again, nice body work. Thing goes up to the jawline, does Hanson. The hammer. Right hand from Meredith. Hanson going high. It is a real whirlwind of technique coming uh, mm. from uh, Hanson. Sorry, Meredith. Hanson, oh, left hook, right hand, outside thigh. Nice combination work there from Trent Hanson. He's got, he's got some good skills, Hanson. He's a very well put together fighter, balanced, but just uh, not matching the, uh, the intensity and work rate of Meredith. Cool. Meredith just faking off that right hand, dropped it, and Hanson almost collected him with the left hook. Little shot to the little Kenningtons. Little Kennington region. Go to the towels. Better one there for Trent Hanson. There's a band on this hammer, Hanson. Isn't the Hanson the song Mba? No. I liked Hanson. I guess I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about with these boy bands. Oh jeez. Once again he does the pop down, pop up, shimmy shimmy. There it is. Shimmy, shimmy. Do you want to get, just venture out of the jukebox and put a dime in there? Have a shimmy, shimmy. We do a lot of shimmying at uh, some of the uh, clubs I frequent, mostly with poles. Shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy. Oh, a bit of fat boy slim hammer between rounds. A bit of funk soul brother. Right big, about now. Big right hand. What about now? He's letting the right hand go. Meredith with uh, Hanson balances up and counters, but uh, I think he's just been totally overruled by the, the constant work rate of Jeff Meredith. 
The, uh, the man from Perth will certainly come here to throw down and uh, keep the intensity up in the It's War event, all presented by our big Mick Siebert. Big hello to our favourite man over in Perth, the Green Machine. Danny Green, though, he enjoys watching all the fights. Danny. Green Machine going to have the fight of his life against Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, Look go. out for that one on main event. Yeah. And of course, that will be showing in all Fox Sports pubs and clubs. And it's going to be packed. It's going to be absolute pandemonium. Forget about uh, uh, Green's uh, battle with uh, Anthony Mundine. This one is going to be massive. I have to get along to my local and watch it, Hannah. Side thigh kick. Hanson. And the fight's still there for the taking. Hanson needs to uh, just consolidate and, and keep as busy as Meredith, but uh, very unorthodox and uh, loosely techniqued. Meredith is just uh, moving from all angles, and uh, geez, he'd be such a frustrating fighter to be matched against. It's like fighting Skeletor. And he changes stance too. He goes from orthodox to southpaw. And uh, being, uh, being able to be uh, a switch hitter is a good skill to have. But, uh, geez, it, it makes for a, a tough fight for any opponent. Clipping left hand from Hansen. Hamstring kick. Ooh, nice flicking high left round kick from Jeff Meredith. Well, it's Meredith... Meredith with the work rate, Hanson with the power. But uh, I don't think Hanson's uh, able to get the, the power zeroed in and get it away. The ever moving, ever uh, busy Meredith, popping one a little bit low. Wow, oh, fantastic contest. Great sportsmanship. The best fight of the night so far, Hammer. Well, certainly the, the busiest, most active. And uh, some, uh, some different tech. Good day, Dad. And uh, just had the, those kicks looping high, looping low. And the Hanson didn't get the, uh, the opportunity to settle and uh, get away the power shots that uh, he's uh, renowned for. In turn, you've got uh, Meredith there just uh, grabbing down. A little bit of a Michael Jackson in the, uh, in the crotch area there. Too early, too early. For that move, this one was too early. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the judges' scorecard, big round of applause for both fighters for a fantastic bout. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. It is a split decision. Judge number one had it for the blue corner, and judge number two. to be Jeff or Jeff Meredith. The rematch may be on the cards in a future McSieber promotion for these two.